Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about the topic bar. Bar sounds exciting. It is right. Bar is really a very interesting topic. And being a hotel management student, you should have a like thorough and a strong command over the topic beverages and bar, right? Because if you will go and if you will sit for the campus interview, they will ask question from the bar, types of beverages, wine, whiskey, vodka, types of cocktails, method of preparation. So you should have a strong command over this topic beverages, right? So today we will discuss about the bar. Today here I will discuss about the types of bar, right? And like bar, bar is the like most important revenue generating area of the hotel. So we have to like learn and study about the bar, right? Okay. So first today we will discuss here about the pubs, lounge bar, what is wine bar, what is cocktail bar, what is banquet bar, what is dispense bar, right? Okay. Pubs. All of you know, pubs like it was like earlier it was. Uh, generally promoted by the like breweries to showcase their product and for like marketing but uh, nowadays they are like operated by other business promoters so pubs is like an area where you will find all kind of uh, alcoholic uh, beverages and they generally serve beers apart from beers they will serve whiskey wine vodka also in the pubs so this is the definition of pub you will get uh, beer and other alcoholic beverages right so see this is the images of pub uh, this is just symbolic images, uh, shape could be vary, it might be round shape, rectangular shape, right. So this is just symbolic represent representation of pub, so this is pub, okay. So lounge bar, uh, now next I will discuss what is lounge bar, lounge what do you mean by lounge, lounge is like a place or area where you can sit, wait or relax in a hotel, simple, okay. So lounge is an area meant for relaxing, where you can wait for your colleagues, friends, relatives, boss, right. So, and this area is actually uh, located near the reception in the hotel or um, airports. So, some establishments have lounge bar which serves all kind of alcoholic beverages to the guest at the lounge. And lounge bar you guys will often see in like airports, casinos, hotel, ships, you will find lounge bar, right. See, this is, uh, this is the, uh, this is the lounge bar, you can see here, right, okay. Next is wine bar. What is wine bar? Wine bar, okay. Wine bar generally sells only wines of all kinds, right. It could be red wine, white wine, rosé wine and etc. Mainly the most expensive wines you will get in the wine bar and in wine bar you will find the good collection of uh, different varieties of wines. And you will find very expensive wines in the uh, wine bar. And in, in wine bar what happens, the guests are given a uh, free sample of wine for tasting because there are so many guests who don't know taste. There are so many guests who are the first comer, they don't know the taste, uh, aroma. So they generally give the free sample of wine for tasting because the wines are very expensive. One bottle you will find for 20,000, more than 25,000, 30,000, 40,000 rupees per bottle of wine. So they will give the free sample for the tasting and if you will if you like the taste you can buy the wine from wine bar and if you uh, and if you want to like uh, consuming there you can sit in the bar and drink itself in the bar and if you want to carry you can also buy the bottle and consume later at your home or anywhere actually this concept is very new in india right and this is uh, very popular among the like wine kernels and the affluent people it is not like um, not for the normal, so this uh, concept is very like uh, popular among the high class, right, wine bar. This concept is very, very new in India. Okay, you can see here the wine bar, this is just like the image, okay. Dispense bar, now I will discuss about the dispense bar, what is dispense bar? In dispense bar, for instance, you went to a restaurant, you are eating something, we went with your family, with your friends, any anyone, right? And if you are having your meals, you want to drink something. So, the dispense bar is like the bar, it is attached to the restaurant, right? And, uh, and they serve alcoholic drinks to the guests in the restaurant during the meal time. So, if you want to have something, whiskey, vodka, wine, um, during your meal time, you can also 
get your drinks in the restaurants. So this is called dispense bar. See, this is dispense. This is the image of dispense bar. Here you can see tables are there. You can have your food, right? Bar is also there. So if you want to have something, you can order from the bar and they will serve you, right? So this is the dispense bar attached in the restaurant. Okay. Actually, next is banquet bar. You guys know what is banquet? All of you know. If I will divide banquet plus bar, banquet bar. So like banquet is the place where you can organize your function. Function could be formal or uh, informal function, right? If you, if you have any wedding function, uh, wedding function in your family, you will book banquets. If you have to organize any seminar, if you have to organize any conferences, if you have to organize any um, promotion, right, fashion show, we generally book the banquet for that function. So the, uh, they generally arrange your bar setup in the banquet. So this is the banquet bar. Actually, this is the temporary bar setup in the banquet hall, and they serve uh, like all types of alcoholic drinks. Plus, non-alcoholic drinks also you will get in the banquet bar during your specific function. Function could be any function, formal or informal, right? And uh, in banquet bar, what happens? Actually, the drinks may be either brought by the those who is to drink or paid by the host for all the drinks consumed by his or her guests during the functions. So, for instance, if I am organizing a function, if I have a wedding function in my family, so and if guests are coming for, uh, to attend my wedding ceremony or any XYZ function, so if I will arrange a uh, bar set up, in, so I, I will pay, so I have to pay. No guest will buy the bottle, right? So this is the banquet bar. This is a temporary setup. Next, you can see here the image of banquet bar. See, this is the temporary bar. Custer wheels are attached at the end, so you can move your bar. Okay. Next, I will discuss about the parts of bar. Bar, you guys, I am sure you guys understand what is bar. Okay. So now, now I will discuss about the parts of bar. What is what are the different parts of bar? Okay. So bar bar, bar generally consists of three main parts. First is front bar, second is back bar, and third is under bar. Okay. Okay. What is front bar? You guys can easily understand the front bar. Like front bar, it, it is the meeting point of the customers and the bartenders, where the customers order for their drinks and are served by the bartenders. Right? Image I will show you in the next slide. So you can easily understand. And the height generally uh, of the like front bar is 42, 42 to 50 inches or 52 inches. And like white is 16 to 18 inches. It should be like 16 to 18 in inches, right? With the surface of alcohol proof and waterproof mat materials or and most bar surfaces are made of, of like high quality uh, marbles, granites, right? So this is the front bar. I will show you the picture in the next slide. See, this is the front bar. As you can see here, the bar tender is stand here, and the guests are sitting on the back, uh, on the back side. This is the front bar, right? Okay. Chali, the next is back bar. Back bar kya hota? Okay. So it is located at the back of the front counter, leaving sufficient space for the bar tender to do their work. Because in the back bar. Guest has to. Uh, actually, it is a like back bar. What happened? Back bar is like lined with the mirror at the back, which reflects the bottle stored in the rack. So, uh, in back bar, the back bar generally holds all types of liquor bottles. You will see all the types of liquor bottles are kept in the back bar. So, this is the back bar, and it's sparkling all the glass wares in an attractive manner, which enhances the appearance of the bar. So, all the bottles are kept in the back bar. Okay. So, and in the back bar, all the mirrors. Mirrors are like fixed in the back bar. So, what is the function of mirror here? Like mirror acts as a merchandising device by displaying the bottles. Merchandising device means if you will see, you might be like uh, feel tempting and if and you can order any particular brand by seeing the um, by seeing the display, right? And another benefit of uh, mirror is in the back bar, the mirror adds depth to the room, helps the bartender. And another also benefit of the back bar is that it helps the bartender to observe the customers discreetly. You can see the customers, right? And the customers to view others in the room. So this is the benefit of mirror fixed in the back bar. Okay. And in most bar, the overhead slotted racks are fitted to store the steamer, which makes the bar very attractive. Aap log dekhte ho ki bar mein 
स्टेम एक फिक्स होता है है ना रैक्स जिसमें यू कैन कीप योर ग्लासेज सो दैट इट लुक्स एट्रैक्टिव एक मार्क एक इट शुड बी लुक एट्रैक्टिव है ना ओके एंड रेफ्रिजरेटेड कैबिनेट में भी फिटेड इन द बेस ऑफ द बैक बैक बार जहाँ पर ग्लास रखी थी तो उसके नीचे में फ्रिज लगा रहता है सो दैट यू कैन कीप योर फ्रूट्स गार्डनेसेज यू कैन कीप आइस वाटर ओके 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 सो इफ आई एल टॉक अबाउट द डिजाइन पर्सपेक्टिव ऑफ द बैक बार द डिजाइन ऑफ द बैक बार मस्ट बी फंक्शनल बिकॉज यू हैव टू वर्क देयर सो इट शुड बी लाइक easy to work there it should not be like very complex and conservative so that it would be very difficult for you to work there so uh, if uh, like uh, here i am talking about that like design part of the back bar it should be very very functional so that bartender and if you are working in the bar you will easily work there and at the same time it should be very very attractive and pleasant to look uh, at from the top to the bottom bahut hi acha dikhna chahiye khoobsurat because it is the like first point like center of attraction a guest ka hai na so it is the center of attraction and constant view of customers होता है सो इट शुड बी डिजाइन इन दैट वे दैट वंस यू केम एंड एंटर इन साइड द बार एंड ऑटोमेटिकली यू शुड से वाओ सो दिस डिजाइन शुड बी मस्ट कंसिडर इन द माइंड वाइल डिजाइनिंग द बैक बार ओके ओके सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज द बैक बार ऑल द लिक बॉटल्स आर केप देयर सो दिस इज द बैक बार फ्रंट बार आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस स्लाइड सो दिस इज द बैक बार यू कैन सी हियर चलिए अंडर बार व्हाट इज अंडर बार फ्रंट बार यू गैज अंडरस्टैंड बैक बार हो गया नाउ आई डिस्कस बता अंडर बार व्हाट इज अंडर बार सो अंडर बार आर द पार्ट रेफर्स टू द एरिया अंडर द फ्रंट बार ऑफ द बार टेंडर्स लाइक दिस इज द फ्रंट बार एंड दिस एरिया इज कॉल्ड द अंडर बार वेर यू हैव टू वर्क वेर यू हैव टू मेक अ ड्रिंक वेर यू हैव टू कट द फ्रूट्स वेर यू हैव टू मेक द गार्डनिस इज राइट सो वर्क फ्लो मस्ट बी कंसिडर वाइल डिजाइनिंग द अंडर बार बिकॉज इट इज द मेन सेंटर फॉर द इंटायर बार ऑपरेशन बिकॉज यू हैव टू वर्क देयर you have to do entire the function in the uh, under bar so as the bartenders will be facing because uh, in the under bar you have to face the guest you have to talk to the guest you have to take the order you have to solve the queries of the guest and apart from the guest uh, apart from this while uh, doing the other uh, while doing the your while doing your task in the bar you have to um, also work very constantly and very smoothly right so it should be like uh, uh designed in that proper way because you have to face the guest while preparing the drinks in the under bar in the next slide you will see the image of the under bar see this is the under bar guest are guest are sitting there ladies bartender is standing there and the all like you can see here like jiggers are kept there so this is the part of the under bar you can see here this is the under bar okay so all the well brands and call brands are kept under the bar okay so now i'll discuss about the what is well brands and what is call brands okay so well brands are like you guys know what is what well brands well brands are like house brands and uh, that are served to the guest who do not specify a particular brand of liquor because if you will see there are so many guests who don't know they came first time in your bar and <coughs> sorry and they will order for i want to have a whiskey i want to have a vodka but they don't know the particular brand so in this case you will uh you can sell you, your well brands right so hotel will, will be serving a brand that is kept in the stock so these are the well brands and call brands so call brands are the brand requested by the guest by the name there are so many guests who are like a regular visitor of your bar and they take only like particular brand only right so some if some guest will come in your bar and if you will ask for i want a johnny walker i want a black label i want a blue label i want a glen lebit i want glen fiddich any particular brand x y z he or she may ask so in this case you have to sell that particular brand so this is called call brands so guest call by the name it's very simple concept is very simple you can easily understand here what is call brand so if guest will ask and demand for particular brand you have to sell that particular brand and this brand is called call brands okay so what i would i would like to suggest you guys because you guys are like pursuing hotel management you all are hotel management student so i would recommend you guys should at least go and visit the bar see i am not recommending that go and drink because it's not very good for your health right because but this is the like part of your syllabus you have to study 
might be you guys will become a bar, uh, bartender some will become an entrepreneur some will start your own setup bar right xyz so you guys will at least go and visit and see what's happening what are the new new products are coming in the market what are the new uh, technology are coming in the bar so you guys should at least go and uh, hone your skills and do like do proper research what are the right what are the new products what are the new technology what are the new equipments are coming in the bar okay so uh, now we'll discuss about the steps involved in the bar operation. what are the steps involved in bar operation so if uh, like for example if i have started a bar so i have to uh, make some sop the standard operating procedures i have to make asa nahi hai ki i will sell 30 ml to one guest and 40 ml to another guest i will make cocktail apni recipe banayenge no i can't do like that right so if i am a, like if i have started bar or if i am a fnb manager or, or i am associated with the bar operation or beverage operation so i have to first establish the drink size what should be their drink size right i have to standardize the sizes and shape of the ice to be used what are the different shapes and size of the ice i use in our bar i have to standardize the glassware in which the drinks are, are to be served i can't like serve wine in the beer goblet or brandy snifter right if i am selling a red one i have to serve in the red wine glass if i am a um, if i am serving white wine i have to serve in a white wine glass if i am serving a beer i have to serve in a uh, beer goblet right asa nahi hai ki i uh, i will serve beer in a red wine glass so i have to uh, being a hotelier or being a fnb manager or being a um, owner of that particular outlet i have to make a proper sop right so okay then i have to finalize the method of pouring the drink कैसे मुझे पोर करना है दिस आर द मेथड आई विल डिस्कस इन द नेक्स्ट लाइट व्हाट आर द मेथड्स राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस आई आल्सो आई हैव टू स्टैंडर्ड द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री स्नैक्स टू बी ऑफर ड्यूरिंग द सर्विस हम क्या स्नैक्स देने वाले हैं आई हैव टू स्टैंडर्डाइज फिक्स करना पड़ेगा ऐसा नहीं है कि सम इफ ही इज माई फेवरेट गेस्ट आई विल गिव हिम पनीर टिक्का एंड इफ इज लाइक नॉट ए रेगुलर कस्टमर आई विल गिव हिम नॉर्मल पीनट्स नो आई हैव टू स्टैंडर्डाइज द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री स्नैक्स वट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्टर्ब इन आवर बार और रेस्टोरेंट राइट मेथड ऑफ पोरिंग एनी एल्कोहलिक ग्लास and this is not the accurate and this is not the right method so this is not recommended when you will do the practice to ja ke aapko habit ho payega ki i will count count 10 or 10 count karte karte 30 mil ho jayega but you should avoid because agar aap beginner ho if you are new you should avoid and this is not the right method to serve any alcoholic beverages to the guest second best method is pouring shot glass or jigger shot glass or jiggers like this is called peg measures also 30 ml hota 60 ml you take in 30 ml you take 60 ml and just pour so this is the right method and another method of pouring the drink is automatic pouring device automatic pouring device what is like are available and that can be inserted into a like open liquor bottles which measure the liquor poured and cut off automatically when the preset quantity is dispensed so this is also a very good method of um pouring the drinks automatic pouring device okay see uh you can see here lady bartender she is like serving free hand pouring but if you are a new if you are a beginner you should not pour drinks by this method because aap nahi serve kar paoge because ye habits nahi hai you guys okay so this is the free uh, hand pouring okay so this is the jig you can see here so, second side is 30 ml and other side is 60 ml so you just take a take a liquor and then pour so this is the right method of pouring and third is the uh auto automated so you guys understand okay so now i will discuss the fix up how i will fix up the selling price in our restaurant okay so alcoholic drinks are generally served in many ways might be some guest will ask for the neat some will ask for the with ice and some will with mixture or as in a cocktail and we don't know which guest will ask what type of drink right might be so uh, so we have to plan accordingly because we don't know how the drinks will be consumed cannot be predicted in our restaurant so okay so i will discuss how to fix up the selling price in your bar 
so some bar offers complimentary snacks some but generally most of the bar you will find the complimentary snack they offer to your, uh, offer to their guest and if a guest want to go for some other snacks you have to pay extra for instance if you, if you go to any bar and if they will give you paneer tikka then it's a complimentary they will not charge you for the paneer tikka but if you want to some another snacks you have to pay separately okay okay so here i will discuss about the three situations that are going to be take place in the bar okay so what are the three situation so guest one first is first is, what is guest one wants to have a whiskey on the rocks guest one wants only whiskey on the rocks what is whiskey on the rocks you guys know okay second is guest two guest two wants to have a whiskey soda and ice so guest one wants whiskey only with rocks guest two wants have a whiskey with soda and ice and guest three orders for only neat whiskey without adding any water or soda okay so the base in case of guest 3 the base cost less than the cost involved in the case of guest 1 and 2 as i have a queue because he is not taking soda he is not taking water he is not taking ice in case of guest 1 more than the cost involved in guest 3 because uh, his or her drinks include the cost of ice so obviously the cost will go high right and in case of guest 2 more than guest 1 price will be more than guest one as his and her drinks include the cost of ice and soda so we have to fix the selling price we can't we can't charge our guest if he is taking a neat so i can't say if for example if i am selling a drink for the 500 rupees and if any guest came in our bar and if he is asking for the you no know, i want a whiskey only neat so i can't say okay i will give a discount and you pay only 400 rupees no Price should be same for all the guests. Whether you take your whiskey with ice or soda, we take neat or we take with on the rocks, you have to pay. So for that, for that situation, we have to fix up the selling price. You take whatever you want to take, you have to pay the same price. Okay. So how we'll do this? Here you can see. Uh, you need to calculate the total cost of ingredients involved per portion of a drink for example 30 ml of drink here just i am taking an example the cost is 75 rupees okay and the cost of ice is 4 rupees so cost of mixes mixes soda and water comes under, under the cost of mixes the cost price of cost of mixes is 10 rupees okay and a snacks cost is 15 rupees so if i will add all the products the total cost is here 104 so if i have to fix the uh, selling price what i will do and i need a gross profit of 60 percent in this particular in uh, particular uh, product right so what i will do here 100 into cost per portion cost per portion is here 104 and what i and divided by 60 and you have to minus 100 minus 60 that is 40 so you have to do here 100 into 104 divided by 40 so the cost is 260 rupees right if i want a 50 percent so what you you have to do here 100 into 104 divided by 50 and then cost would um, cost will come like 200 8 rupees so uh, in this way you have to calculate calculate the selling price and then whatever the gross profit required you can sell that product so up next they have a selling price is 260 rupees for uh, that particular product so however it may be consumed with mixers or without mixers and with ice or without ice it is 260 rupees and the cost of snacks is covered Aapko kahin bhi free snacks nahi milega. whether they are giving you might be there is a possibility that they will give a free snack but the, all the prices are included in that product so the cost of snacks is covered here 75 rupees amara whiskey ka tha, but for that product you have to pay 260 rupees so all the costs are involved here right so the selling price includes the cost of soda and the complimentary snacks that are offered everything is covered here right so and uh, being a hotelier being a owner being a uh, fnb manager uh, it should be remembered that not all will be taking their drinks with soda Asa bhi ho sakta hai ki koi guest bina soda ka bhi lega har koi soda nahi pita hai and those who take with soda will not consume entire bottle of soda Asa nahi ki soda liya to he or she will consume entire bottle so this will be Share by their company and hence the consumption of soda will be less so obviously this is profitable right so and management is benefited from the sale of need so in this way you have to you can calculate your selling price in your bar or restaurant but here i am talking about the bar so this is the uh, formula of calculating selling price in your bar okay thank you so much